Yes, day four, challenge, 20 centimeter canvas, and um, painting will be begin in one second. I'm, this is getting difficult now because I've got to start thinking about how I'm going to put this together. And um, yeah, it, it gets more complicated as the week goes on because you've got to start thinking about ideas. Anyway, enough of the waffle, Clive. Let's get to the challenge. So if that's something you're interested in, if you've been following it along, please stay with me. And after this short introduction, you can join me in the studio for the challenge. I'm nervous. See you soon. Okay, without further ado, I'm not gonna, uh, thank you very much for joining me in the studio. There's my wet palette. We, let's get into this painting as quick as we can. Okay, so what we're gonna need, we're gonna need a little bit of a, a pot. Um, I'm gonna need a little bit of, um, oh, oh no, white gesso. Let's put a little bit of white gesso in there. Uh, put that by there. Let's go down into our station. We need some, uh, what am I gonna do today, Clive? Ding 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 bit of heavy body black paint. Let's put some paint there. Let's put a little bit of Prussian blue. Let's get a little bit of um let's get a little bit of let's get a little bit of cobalt blue. And um and I think that's it. That's the three colours I'm gonna use today. I don't want to make this complicated. Okay, so Prussian blue we will put by there. And I'm gonna put some cobalt blue there oops okay it's just separated a little bit in the tube it does happen sometimes I've got a video to tell you how that works and I'm using a little bit of Mars black there yes okay so squirty bottle uh, mr. bottle we've got a mr. bottle now we're gonna squirt our canvas down I forgot to do that yesterday and get a smaller brush I mean I'll do wet that in I don't know if you can hear the rain coming down today and I still haven't sealed this knocked this canvas down so anyway uh, let's talk in too much now Clive let's get some gesso and let's just put some gesso on the canvas It'd be easier just to pick the pot up in your hand and quicker <clears throat> I think these cha these challenges are getting more difficult now as the week goes on because the the ideas, um, the brain, you know, you've got to think of these things. And I'm, I'm I find myself constantly thinking of this challenge. Just put Jess or three on the planet. Um, okay, so let's put a little bit more gesso into the area because we're going to have a sky here. Um, I want Prussian blue. Mixing it with a bit of white before I get it on the canvas and then I'm gonna go in like that. taking the excess off onto some kitchen roll and I'm just gonna go across there like that a bit of what do we say that was cobalt blue with a bit of white just get down here mix in a color couple of colors together because I just want that just that difference of I want that I want it a bit lighter there and I want it just slightly darker here okay I know what I am done again I am put my I'm going to put my air dryer on. Put my air dryer on, Clive. No. Okay, I need to dry that very quickly now. Uh, come on. Not exactly 100% dry, but we'll, 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 we'll do with that. I need to get my um, do a titanium white. Why titanium white? Because it's a little bit more opaque. And uh, it is actually a, an acrylic, not a, not a gesso. And I'm just going to put a... circle effect there very similar to what we did yesterday and then bring a bit of that 
I ruined this brush. Doesn't matter. Let's just increase a little bit of white around there like that. <clears throat> I'm hoping to keep these around about the 20 minute mark. But inevitably these are going to get more complicated as the week, as the week goes on. I'm on four now. I got another three to make. So that's making me quite nervous. I just washed my brush very quickly. Where's my scrubbing brush? There we go. Right, I'm going to go into a bit of Prussian blue, a bit of Mars black. I want to darken our Prussian blue up with the black. Because ultramarine blue and um, Mars black makes a Prussian blue. I just want to lighten it just a touch, just to change its value. Just taking the excess off my brush. And I'm going to go as we did with the clouds. Scrub some of that in. Just mix a bit more up. Ah, uh, water. I want to thin it down a bit. That's it. That's what I wanted to do. That's better. It's a bit greyer than I wanted, but it doesn't matter. We'll, we'll work around that now. Let's put a bit more blue into that. Prussian blue, a little bit of white. Moisture, moisture, moisture. I'm using a little bit more water than I wanted to do. But that's just to get the flow right. Because I'm against the clock, as always. No, so it's uh, it's been raining quite hard today, so um, I thought I'd come in the studio and um, just get this little challenge out of the way, because I've got a few projects that's, that's got to be uh, attended to, and um, and I thought it's nice to do these type of challenges. And a bit, a bit more, I want a really nice light. This is going to take me a little bit longer than I think. This one, I tell you, it's not uh, going to be an easy one. The idea was there, but obviously sometimes we over challenge ourselves. And, and this is this is the thing you've got to remember when you're doing this type of thing is uh, they say keep it simple, stupid. And what they mean by that is don't overcomplicate something 
that doesn't need to be complicated. And I've started to do it, I think. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to chuck that in the bin. I'm going to dry that off. Okay, so I'm going to get myself a little bit of my medium mix flow improver out. That's there, that's available on the website if you want to pop along and purchase some. That's all the money then that's going to help me in the studio to give myself some more time. Okay, so I'm going to just going to get a bit of this light blue that we got, the cobalt blue. I'm making a nice scramble wash and I'm going to go over the old painting very quickly. And then again, dry that. And you can see do, doing just that simple little thing um, is going to, where's my tiny mind? Is going to um, just ease that tone back a touch. And you can go in then, like I'm gonna do now, and I'm gonna increase the brightness of the moon. Yes, it's a moon. It is. It's a moon. Just getting a little bit of medium mix. Just making the paint just a little bit thinner. And then we're just going to catch the edges of these clouds. Like that. Brighten that area up a touch like that. I hope you can hear the rain because it's... Uh, I can't say it's pleasant, but I find it quite soothing sometimes, a little bit of, bit of the rain you can get in here. Normally, if, if it's, it's not what's scagging, it, it's more of um, you can see the texture of the canvas coming through, and it's, that's what makes, sometimes it makes it look a little bit fluffy, and that's, that's the good thing. I want to leave a couple of these areas darker there, but I just want to put a bit of emphasis where I think that's going to catch there like that. And now I'm going to do something bold. I'm going to get my script liner brush. I'm going to go straight into some Mars black. And I hope this works. Um, Oh, it's not running enough. Come on. Got to get it really thin sometimes to...
as Bob Ross used to say, there's his friend, there's his friend in there. It's a bit of a mess at the moment, doesn't it? It certainly does. Okay. So we're going to need a, so we're going to use one of these, we? we'll use this one, we'll do, I should be alright, should be alright with this. Just put in some. I don't know what I'm doing for time. Let's just have enjoy. Let's just enjoy the painting process at the moment, though. Pick up a little touch of Prussian blue now. When you're doing this, remember what I've said about um, our lessons on painting trees. If you haven't gone along and um, seen that lesson or those lessons, then please go to www.clive5art.co.uk and you will see all my playlists uh, in one place there. And these are just simple, very quick paintings and not giving it too much thought. But it is important that you know you just do this sometimes practice you know it's it's nice to play and have fun and it's 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 very important to get your art artistic skills working and um i think it's uh, it's it's real fun sometimes to just do that You could do whatever you wanted on that. I'm just going to pick up a little bit of white, just plain white, straight on the edge of my brush, taking a bit of moisture off, and I'm just going to very lightly yearn in there, just pick up a little bit of light that's coming off the moon. Script line the brush and then just put a little bit of light. You can spend a little bit more time on these paintings than me. These are just little ideas at the end of the day, but they're challenges, and I've got to try and get these done within 20 minutes. And I'm not expecting them to be absolutely fantastic ones, but what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put a little little bird or a bat something flying around over there and um, yes I think I'm gonna call that that so I'm just gonna sign it in the bottom left hand corner and um, we'll call that one done so that's challenge day four a night scene there you go day four challenge night scene yes it's um, that shows you a quick way how to do a night sky um, like I said put the quick wash on it knock it back if you want to if it's a bit bright can always do that and put whatever you want in the front ground in the foreground front ground front front front, front foreground carve in the foreground and there you are night sky in less than 20 minutes i hope <laughs> i don't know i'll find out when i edit it so um, the only thing i edit is the air drying so thank you very much i will see you on challenge um five tomorrow and um yes have fun and um don't forget the rest of the videos during the week and i will see you soon don't forget please support me on patreon if you can it's one dollar a month 25 cents a week 
all the details are below or you can press the little card it'll come down any second or you need to press that i button and it should pop down and um, please go along to see what i have to say and what i've got what i've written and there's perks in there there's free gifts etc so please do that i'll see you next time bye